Welcome. How you doing, guys? And welcome to Geek by Heart. Hearts. Boom! Ah. Ah. <laughs> this is our second review. Yeah. Wow. This is our second review. Very excited. Very excited. Because we're going to be talking about Deadpool, Deadpool. 2. Oh my god. So we are very much, very much ready to get into talking it with you. Yeah. Wanted to hear your comments about it below. All right, and subscribing to our channel as Please well. Please subscribe. Please All right. subscribe. We definitely want to just share. We this. got a lot to talk about in yes, terms of absolutely. Uh, anything that is geeky. Mm -hmm. That's us. Mm -hmm. We also are talking about spoilers. All yeah. right, so we want to warn you before you we even get into the conversation that it is spoilers. So therefore, like if you haven't seen it. Gotta get out of here. Gotta get out of here. You can't stay here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that's it. That's it. There's no if ands no buts. Mm. Oh, hold up. I, I think we're gonna be talking about Deadpool too. I think we said that already. Did we? Okay. You can know. Okay. It's yeah. it's all good. Okay. Well, so, we're going to be talking about Deadpool, Deadpool two. two, which stars Ryan Reynolds, Josh Brolin. Uh, I think who's in it? Sazzy Beats. Sazzy Beats. Um, that's Domino. Julian um, Dennison. Julian Dennison, that's uh, the kid. Terry Crews. Terry Crews. He got There's a lot. Up. Oh. And, <laughs> a um, you know, I haven't, I haven't read all of Deadpool's comics, mm -hmm. but I did read up to X Force. Okay. And um, you know, it, there's certain things that in it that it that it it's really it really came out in the movie, and mm -hmm. I really do appreciate it. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> so, Thank you. <laughs> Basically, Deadpool is about our beloved superhero. Deadpool, you know, Merc with the mouth. Uh, yeah, definitely. He actually is on the the, the a mission to um save the kid, mm -hmm. which basically is a mutant. Mm -hmm. And he was at this um this 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 uh, uh orphanage. He was being abused. Yeah, yeah. He's just like trying to melt the mutant away. So basically, there was Cable who came from the, the future. future because mm -hmm. uh the kid who was basically a In grown person present. In the in the past in the future, he killed Cable's family. So Cable came from the future to the past to kick his ass. Did that make sense? That's basically the premise of the movie, mm -hmm. and um, it was well, it was well done. Yeah, yeah, it's not a perfect movie, but it definitely was an enjoyable one. And believe me, it's not for kids. It is straight explicit. I mean. If you saw the first one, you would know that the second exactly. one is not for the kids. No, like it's, it's not for kids. absolutely not. Absolutely you know, not. it's just trade uh, explicit curse words everywhere. Like, oh my god! It, I don't know which one is more, like, curse words or the gore. I know, right? I have, to, I have to be like covering my eyes because there's like too much explicit <laughs> going on. <laughs> oh, and you're yeah. so you're so shy about these things. I know. Man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. But yeah, we're gonna be getting into uh, our good geek, bad geek about the movie mm -hmm. and what we think, and then you know. Speed it up for you. It's all good. There you go. So here we go. Okay, babe. So we watched Deadpool 2, and um, I just want to know what did you think about the movie? People want to know. I want to know. Please let people know, but please start with your bad geek. Well, by the way, what you want to go with? Your bad geek or your good geek? I'm going to start with my good geek. Okay, well, go ahead. All right, so my good geek was about. I'm going to actually do two things into one. I'm going to talk about the end credits and the fact that, like, the continuation of, like, that self awareness. Okay. Yo, them writers know what to do. They know how to lay a good joke. They know how to say, you suck, we suck, and everyone else sucks. And it is funny yeah. like their end credits were one of the best end credits i think i've seen in a superhero movie of all time yeah it was okay totally it, it was it was totally different it was funny and it was like yo you know everybody else was saying the same thing they <laughs> listened to their fans and they were like here you go here's a gift oh for God. you one of the de one of the um end credits has to do with um Ryan Reynolds reading a script for Green Lantern, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you see. Pfft. You got got shot in the back of the head. That was epic. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! And like everybody we know knows. Green, we even know that Green Lantern was sucked. Crap. Was it was horrible. Dog shit. The second one, which was crazy, and I loved it, was everybody that I know that has seen Wolverine. Obviously, you already know I'm going with this. Oh my god. Um, they, <sighs> the way that they did Deadpool and that mm. was crazy. And so when they had the Merc without a mouth and we had we got to the climax, um, if you remember the scene where Wolverine um, is about to get Fine. to, about to get to Deadpool yeah. and then the doors open, right? 
and then Deadpool comes in, the original one in Wolverine, and all of a sudden you see, you see, I'm sorry, I gotta lie. He just, he just comes in, he's just like, poof, yeah. And then and he's on, he's on, poof, bloop, bloop, bloop. And just erase him. But it was, it was so that funny. Was epic. And that's what made that the movie epic. actually really cool, because you can relate to it, because it listened to the fans, and a lot of the trolling yeah, that it did, a lot that. of the trolling that it did, it that's was like, love. that was fanfare, that was like, yeah. we love you. Yeah. So that was one of the best yeah, things about that tribute. movie. Two, I love the fact that this was not preoccupied with his love story. I felt that it could have easily done that based on how it ended with the first one mm -hmm. and the fact that it wasn't preoccupied with the love story mm -hmm. and that it was more preoccupied on his personal journey, okay. um, that that to me was the best part about true, it. True. Um, I thought that it was definitely going to be about them two blossoming and he was going to find a way to be that merc, but you know, uh, they ended up killing her. Um, and he ends up, you know, trying to save somebody else in order to like get a meeting for himself. And they do well by getting her out, yeah. but not so much so that those who were fans of Nessa, that they still got her and they, and they made her death and they made what she did or how she was in the movie purposeful. So that was really good. I, I thought that was a kudos to the writing again. The writing was so solid um, that, yeah, that, that was that was a kudos to that. So, and my last one. I can't. What was this is really not fake. I really can't. <laughs> Yeah, the little the little legs. Oh, the little legs. The little legs. Okay, the little legs scene. Man. That's all. I I can't even explain it. Like, how do you explain it? I mean, but okay. It was okay. It was, so it was, it was. I'm not. I, I don't want to. I don't want to take on how we got the little legs. I feel like you're gonna get to that. So I don't want to take that thunder away from you. No, 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 but no, no, no. Please go. Let you it sure? Out. Let it out. All right. Long, long story short, people want to know. Long story short, we have Juggernaut. Mm -hmm. He makes a nice appearance and a worthy appearance and a makes sense kind of appearance. Um, and Juggernaut just tears him in half. So he is um, at his house uh, trying to regenerate. And Cable comes in, and there's a conversation between Cable and the other characters, or whatever. And you have full torso, and then you have him with these tiny little legs. <laughs> Big <babies>. And <laughs> yeah, and the writing that has to do with the jokes and the way oh that they acted God, they out. That so it, it was hilarious. Crazy. Like I legit that was had. I was oh tearing. God. You were good. You you told me how you cried a little bit during the Finney War. <laughs> I cried during this because the, it was completely so funny. Mm -hmm. Like that is probably gonna be one of my all-time favorite scenes of a Marvel movie. Yeah. Because like it just was. It, it, was, it, it was funny. Yes. It was hilarious. Yeah. So I thought I was gonna be brought into my baggy dumpling. Okay. Yeah. Full time, man. We need to hear your baggy. Come on. Now. <laughs> All right. So I thought that they did a. A good job. It wasn't the best, but I thought they did a good job in um, giving us a backdrop of the orphanage. Like we told you about that Russell was, um, he was being tortured at the orphanage. Mm -hmm. I thought that they could have really given us a few solid scenes mm -hmm. to make us realize, A, why Russell really hated it. I mean, like, obviously, like, they they make mention because um he has a little bit of scarring and you know by his own characterization they make mention of that through his talking and the way he's acting however i would have liked to have seen it mm -hmm. i thought that it would have been such an excellent move to have a couple even if you would have opened the movie that way mm -hmm. and you know you didn't know what you were seeing but then all of a sudden it made sense as the movie progressed mm -hmm. or even the time when they were finally the the third act at the beginning of the third act when they're at the orphanage yeah. you could have they could have had that torture scene or something of that kind of scene mm -hmm. right there we would have been able to see not only from Russell's point of view but just a total point of view of how bad this place was okay so that was one of the things that kind of irked me I was like I want to see more my bad geek all right um, another one of the things that kind of 
it irked me, um, was that I wanted to see Russell win. Okay. Now, granted, I feel like maybe the force has awakened in me for me to see villains win. Um, I think based on um, Infinity War, um, hashtag check out our last uh, video oh, about last that. Video. Um, yeah. But like to see that Thanos won, okay? okay? Mm -hmm. And again, I, I know we can have that conversation of did he win, did he really win, whatever. But let's just say for this conversation, he won. So with that being said, like you have a villain winning. And you could have easily had Russell win, especially with the device that had that was in the movie. Yeah. Save that because that was a part of actually one of the um, end credits. Save that and how they make that better in the next movie, whether it be a Deadpool three, because I've heard that it may not be Deadpool three. Now it's moving it to X Force, which I think is a good move, by the way. Yeah. Um. So I think it could be at the beginning of um, um, Deadpool three. They they make that amends. And that's cool, or in X Force, but just have it in that moment that Russell could have won. It was more like you didn't have a villain. I think that that actually goes into my other thought. You didn't have a villain, and that's cool. What I want a villain. You had a whole bunch of anti-heroes, or you had a whole bunch of understandable villains. You did not have a clear-cut villain. I see. You know what I mean? Because like Russell was basically made through two things. Russell was made through Cable coming back and killing him. Cause I don't know if Cable coming back and killing him, if mm. he would have gone down that route, mm. but then obviously of what happened at the orphanage. Okay. And then you had Cable coming back, not because, you know, he was like, oh, I just wanna kill people or whatever. He was on vengeance. Like, yo, Russell took out his family. Russell mm. took out his daughter. Yeah. And it was a righteous thing for him to do. I can understand it. Sure. So you didn't really have a clear cut villain. And I think the only villain that you could have had that again goes back to my original comment was the people at the orphanage that they didn't use. Oh. So kind of like I, 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 I tried to kind of space it out, but I feel like the whole all of my gripes kind of are interwoven. Mm. So yeah, so I mean, like I said, to me, like it was it was a great movie. Do not get me wrong, but I think that those little tweaks, in some way, uh, shape, or form, would have made it an even better movie. I feel it. Yeah. So, sir. Okay. What is your interpretation? Good geek, bad geek. Microphone check one two. I was about to say the same. I was about okay, to say well, uh, my first bad geek was the fact that um the kids bonding with Juggernaut. Oh, I'm, I'm going to get back to Juggernaut real quick, but the first, the, the bonding with Juggernaut, I didn't like it. it, it I, I think it was, I think it was really, I think they could have done more with it because, you know, the kid just gave him some food and they became friends and that's it. It, it was underdeveloped. It was yeah, definitely I mean, underdeveloped. Come on, give, if, if they had written something that said like, well, Probably Juggernaut was a, a, a family friend who wanted to protect the kid. You know, I can understand that, but just give him some food and they became good friends. I, I didn't, I didn't like that writing. I think that writing was dumb. Yeah, and another uh, bad geek is the fact that um, they didn't actually give you a strong idea or a strong presence after why the kid was mad. I mean, it. Mark you, he was mad because they were he, they were abusing him. I, I, you know, you touched on it, mm -hmm. and I just wanted to go a little bit deep. But um, the fact that uh, you know the kid Deadpool saw a red spot on his neck, and then there there and then they, they they believe that he got abused, and that's what sparked everything. But you know, I wanted to 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 get get a good reason why he wants to be you know take revenge. On the person or the place or whoever owns that orphanage. Okay. You know, I, I I think they could have gone a little bit deeper for us to understand or get some sense of why he is um, really that mad, insanely mad to go back to the village and try to kill the owner and everything. Yeah. So um, I think it goes into what I was saying. So yeah. I, I, now, well, now you touched I on it. You touched on it. So yeah. you know, I I, I I wanted to touch on it. Oh, another thing I didn't like, I didn't like the fact, I didn't like Colossus. Why? I didn't like the Colossus they, I, I still do not like the Colossus they use. 
I think they could have used the Colossus in the second X Men. Is so, it the second X Men. So okay, X -Men? I just want to make sure you talk. What, what you're trying to say? You don't like the character or the actor or the CGI. I didn't like the CGI. Okay. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna let you understand why. The f the, the first Colossus that was in X Men, he had a more effect of being human than this Colossus that is just straight CGI. It did. I, I didn't okay. feel connected with so him as Colossus as a human being, and at the same time, an X Men. Mm -hmm. It was just straight, um, straight uh, CGI. Which yeah. I, I, I mean, Mark, the CGI is great, but I wanted to see. I wanted to to have that effect that well, he's human, mm -hmm. and at the same time, he is, um, you know, he's he's a superior at the same time. The first Colossus in the second X Men. I loved him. Why? It's because you can actually see the armor building around his body. I can and see it in my head when you say that. You know what? That's that's that, so, the epic. Scene, the so scene, epic. The scene where him and Juggernaut were fighting. Um, if the scene, if if the, they had used the first X Men, just try and picture this real quick. Mm -hmm. If they had used that first Colossus with. Um, Juggernaut fighting and basically in the comics you probably might not know but in the comics Colossus and Juggernaut were always at it. They were always fighting. That makes sense. Know, just to make just to prove who's the strongest. That makes who's sense. The, you know the baddest whatever whatever. But just just picture this. He came out of the, ta the, the, the taxi and uh, he saw Colossus. He saw um, Juggernaut and uh, Colossus was it would be in his human form and once they meet eye to eye this armor just started going up. Yes! That would be yes. perfect. That would that be been really, yes. really good. Would that ass. would give me a, a sense that, yo, Colossus is going to kick this motherfucker's ass. That would have gave you and a fanboy. Uh, yeah. I, <laughs> I that would give me a fucking fanboy nut right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and talking about uh, Juggernaut, um, I, I totally didn't like the fact that Juggernaut was all CGI. I mean, oh my God! I, I, don't get me wrong. I love mm. like, CGI is great, whatever, whatever. But as I, as I was telling you about Colossus, I wanted a human figure so that I could connect with, you know, because I feel more connected with human forms or human characters that are superheroes, and then you can change in whatever you do or whatever you you know whatever the case is but I feel more connected with him being a human being and um, I just didn't like the fact that Colossus was straight CGI he could have been human and you know something someone a much more bigger powerful muscular type dude you know who could do that yeah and that's my final bad geek is basically okay. how they got the X-Force the first X-Force the, 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 yeah, I, I don't know why they say that. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. They trolled the hell out of us for that one. Yeah, they, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like, I didn't like how they got them through, um, what they got, got it through LinkedIn or. Oh, you talking about just that? Yeah. That, oh, stop. No, that no, 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 no. It, it was basically, um, it was basically how they got them in and everything. I think what they should have done is have, um, like a little scene in what they can do. You know what I mean? Because I know most of you guys were anticipating to see what they literally can do as an X-Men. Mm -hmm. I was waiting to see that, but we didn't get the chance to see that. Now, if they had an intro That's where, awesome. yeah, if they had an intro where each of these guys had some sort of intro for them getting um, approved by Deadpool and mm -hmm. said, okay, we're going to be in the X-Force, whatever. Um, I think that will be very interesting mm -hmm. and then once you see what they can do and they get drafted when they jump up the plane and, and they go through the little death sequels that would be very very um, qualifying and, 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 and interesting to have. As I feel like between what you just said and what I spoke about with the fact that they didn't they had the orphanage and that was completely underdeveloped mm -hmm. I feel like maybe they were under time constraint. Because that made, that made sense. Yeah. Like both of the comments that we had, that makes a lot of sense. If that would have been done, it would have made a better movie. It would have made a better story. Yeah, it would have made a better story mm -hmm. and it would have made um, us to grunt to it more. Okay. So that's interesting that you say that. Cause I feel like 
it should have been. And I, I don't know why it wasn't. It was very, like, don't get me wrong, it was trolling us. Mm, it was trolling was, us. Because yeah. you knew that all these people was gonna, that was gonna be it. That was gonna be um, X Force. And don't get me wrong, Lucky, Zazie Beats. She rocked oh it. God, I actually should have put that in my good geek. So I'm gonna give her two thumbs up for that one. Okay, so from a good geek, uh, the first, I, you said it too, you said that you liked the montage, but I had, please, I definitely had to reiterate on the montage, mm -hmm. which gave the James Bond look. It was oh, fucking, about that. it was fucking you, you awesome. Go, you go with that. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. the, the James Bond look was, mm -hmm. yeah, I it love that. It was funny. I love that. It was so that. funny. It, Oh my God! It reminded me of I'm not sure if you, if you if you guys ever like um, watched like the old parody movies like Naked Gun and um, Airplane mm. and, and stuff okay. like that. It kind of gives you that retro respect yes, of those movies, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I loved it. On another thing, they brought back Weasel, 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 Weasel. He is far. Me, oh my God! Yeah, another uh, good beat that I like was the fact that when Deadpool was in Xavier's wheelchair, um, and they were like, he was talking greasy about the X Men, and then the camera panned, and right there you see the door with the original X Men. Oh my God, that was hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious. But, with the rebooted X Men. Yeah. Yeah, with the rebooted, the rebooted X Men. X -Men mm -hmm. Original. The rebooted ones. So the Beast was there. Like uh, Xavier was there. Xavier was there. It was so quick. That's the only yeah, two it was I saw. Really quick. Yeah. But I, I read there's a lot more, but those are the only two I saw. Yeah, though. exactly. But that part was. It was crazy. <laughs> so funny. Okay, and uh, I know, I know. I know I have my, my, my beauty queen here. But, you know, one of my next good. <laughs> My next good geek was Domino. I'm gonna give you that, sir. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that. Domino. I'm not talking about basically how she looked, but her her uh, her abilities mm -hmm. was. I mean, I can I can fuck with that. Her abilities were really 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 fascinating. Just the fact that she's very lucky. Oh yeah, and the the, the last good geek is that the, um, the innuendos and uh, the slapstick uh, jokes that were sent throughout the whole entire movie. Mm. Was well fucking written. Yes. And I, I, I can't with this movie, man. I, I definitely can't. Oh, it was a, it was a comedy. Yeah, the comedy was. was it was crazy. a comedy. It was, it, it was well balanced with comedy. Mm -hmm. It was well balanced with action, and you know, it gave you some sort of 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 idea of you know what we want to see in a in a in a comic book movie, basically. And in a raunchy one, like yeah. one that makes sense that it's gonna be. Mm, that's that's what we want to see. Yeah. You know what I mean? We don't want it to be like straight serious, 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 straight. Or safe. Yeah, exactly. Or safe. Yeah. So you know, that's that's what we wanted to see. All right, so babe, what do you think is gonna be the future of this franchise? Well, you know, as as we already know, Deadpool is gonna be, you know, it's gonna be dead. I guess. <laughs> so silly. I think uh, X Force is gonna be um, the main um, eyeball here in, in uh, you know instead of uh, just Deadpool. That and, makes sense. Um, you know I'm looking to see more of um, of the team of what the team can offer, and I know that there's more stuff in in, in terms of. Um, what X Pool has to offer. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's all the other um, villains that are aligned that are associated with the um, X Force, and um, I know that they're, they're not going to be venturing off into the um, the universe of Avengers, mm -hmm. which I don't think they will be doing because I think they're going to be like using. Kind of separated. Yeah, they're gonna, I think they're going to be using X Force still as R rated, you know, uh, but still have that that it's its own franchise basically so do you think that it's gonna it's gonna be at some point intertwined with x-men now even if it's more you know, from an f from an x voice point of view and not from x-men point of view you know what i, I think there's i think there because what what is going on right now i think they're trying to revamp x-men and um hopefully marvel gets back uh the x-men franchise but 
um, if you probably can see, if you probably realize in the in in the ending of Deadpool, Juggernaut is not fully dead. Um, yes. Yeah, he's not fully that. dead. So I know that. he's gonna be back. I think the kid mm -hmm. Russell is gonna be a villain. Um, you think so? Yeah, I think so. I think he's gonna be a villain because the future still predicted that he basically is a villain. And so he probably can go left easily. But it changed because they knew that they were successful when the charred bear that was blood soaked was then again it was it was regular. Mm. So it kind of shows at the end of the movie that you no know, Russell didn't go down the path that you know he supposedly should have gone or did go I should say. Okay, well, but but there again, uh, Russell is still short tempered. He still has that memory of. Um, I, you know, one of the things that I wanted to br bring up is the fact that the owner for the orphanage, uh, he wasn't, he wasn't scary, and I, I think they should yes! have, they should have had yes! a very scary person that could, that you we could shit. actually, you know, associate the fact that he literally was abusing these Absolutely. kids at the Absolutely. orphanage. Absolutely. But I think the kid is gonna be bad. I think he's gonna be. Um, by uh, evil, I mean he's gonna be a villain because I think that um, he still has that anger built up, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of the fact that uh, Deadpool try um, save them or he, he save them in the process, but end up getting shot and he realized that well, you know, I still do care for you, but whatever. Um, the, the kid, he still has that anger issue, and I know that I believe. That is gonna be a villain probably in the next you know time around. But. I'm gonna I'm disagree with you. I think that um, not for your logistics, but that to me that would be lazy writing. Now don't get me wrong. Earlier I said I would have liked that to have happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not contradicting from what I said, but I think if you're if you're saying that he would have been a villain like maybe throughout another movie. Being that he was kind of the villain in this one, like I think that Ryan Reynolds and his in that writing team would feel like been there, done that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I feel like they're gonna get a brand new. We're gonna get a brand new villain um, that's gonna be worthy of you know the X Force in their time and stuff. Um, so I'm I'm definitely looking forward to that. I am definitely looking forward to I'm gonna call it whether I know that it's out there or not, but I'm gonna call it. They're bringing back Terry Crews. They're bringing back all those guys. They're bringing back Mr. Banshee, aka Brad Pitt. That was hilarious, by the way. It was like, oh, oh, oh it was and it was so quick. Like if you weren't paying attention or if you yeah. blinked, you would have missed, missed it. But um, I'm gonna call it. They're gonna bring those guys back, and it's mm. gonna be. A a straight X Force. And then I saw some videos that like there is a lot of like Easter eggs and like if you weren't paying attention or if you didn't know that you would have missed it. So like for instance, um, and I could be wrong, so I'm, I'm sure if I characterize this wrong, then I'm gonna hear about it. And I want to please come in. Um, please come in. But from what I understand, um, the daughter of Cable. Mm -hmm could have been a future villain as well she could be her uh, her name was hope something like she was that she could be something like the offspring of like scott summers and 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 another version of gene gray another version of phoenix or something of that nature yeah, yeah. and but she that she's a really really powerful mutant yeah, yeah. and that she could be a villain so maybe they might she's... bring her yeah so Probably. and and again it, it could kind of make sense because then if you think about it with x-men going the dark phoenix route mm -hmm. That somehow those things intermesh. Yeah, we were talking about Deadpool. It was a crazy ass movie, and we and have it was very to funny. give it. What would you give it, by the way? What's what's your rating? Out of five, right? Yeah. Um, I want to give it a four. I want to give it a four, but I don't want to give it a three because I think that like that's um uh, that's like a failing mark. So I'm gonna say three point five. And the only reason why I'm not giving it a four is because that underdevelopment of like having a true villain and the fact that like <laughs> that underdevelopment of the orphanage. Oh, okay. Like if you have a super movie, mm. a superhero movie, you gotta have a true villain. Yeah, well, I'll give it a four basically for its originality. Um, it still came back with its its gross, uncut 
language, mm -hmm. bad assery, bloody, disgusting, mm -hmm. filthy, for a uh, foreplay of a movie which I Imagine. can love and appreciate. <laughs> um, I still do think that there's a lot bit more changes that should have been done or added. But apparently it's it's you know it is what it is. Mm. I, I I can appreciate it. I still I give it a four. I give it a four out of five. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Tell us what you think about. Mm -hmm. um, please subscribe. Yes. Press that button right here. Subscribe to us. Yes. You can leave us some more, comments. You know you can. They can hear more of us and mm -hmm. what we have to say. And let's hear from you. We'll be glad to hear from you. Please check out our Instagram as we promised our mm -hmm. Instagram is, is up and running geek by heart on Instagram and you know you can check out you know we have put pictures up we put the uh, videos sometimes we go live mm -hmm. especially when we are leaving the movie theater or about to go to the movie theater another thing we are playing God of War yes playing God of War. <laughs> yes 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 boy Yes. That's all I have to say. Yes. God of War is really good. Yes. Um, I hope you guys are playing it or checking it out. So this has been Geek by Heart. This is Jay. I am Lainey and we hope to see you soon. Okay. Come back. We we'll speak to you. We we'll see you. Thank you. All right.